All right, we're down at the third level on New Year's Eve. Um, you can see that this bin has been harvested recently. You can see lots of worms hanging out on top. So that's good. Three levels down, the worms still are active. And oh my goodness, this uh, bedding is dense. What on earth did I do in here? Um, whatever I did, the worms <laughs> liked it. There's buried food in here. You are getting as much of a surprise. Oh, I put the egg cartons in here. That's right. So, and then I put this shredded newspaper, which all, honestly just, just compresses to nothing uh, on top. So look at the worms in this level. And then I fed in these egg cartons. So let's just take a look. I'm gonna rock their boat um, by pulling them up. And then there's some Amazon packing tape on the bottom. So I knew I couldn't get into this level. It's probably been a month. So I knew I couldn't get into it. So I stacked it up with food and the worms have responded. They love it. Uh, the avocado peels, I'm not worried about that they haven't finished them. What I want to look at is the food that's in this egg carton to make sure it's done. And then they do not need any more bedding from a just harvested bin. Uh, this is enough bedding. And I'll tell you why I did this. Uh, these, this bin is part of a stacking tray system. It's out in my greenhouse. And although we do have a space heater, that clicks on when it gets cool in this greenhouse. It is not greenhouse temperatures most of the time. In fact, we recorded a low of 3.8 degrees in our cold snap this winter. Uh, so, and we did take steps to warm that up, but most times in the winter, it's hovering around 10 degrees Celsius. So uh, this bin is not generally as warm as these worms would like. You can see that they are still active and thriving though. Uh, so I bulked up the bedding because that uh, is a safeguard against extreme temperature swings. When the greenhouse went down to 3.8 degrees, this bedding would not have cooled down that much. Similarly, in the summer, when you have good volume of bedding, it won't heat up as much. All right, so let's tip this over and see what action we've got happening in here. Try to get either the food and or vermicompost to come out of these egg carton pockets. And there we go. So the worms, this has been about a month. They are still in here. They're still eating this food. But I actually don't, my food scraps don't look like regular food scraps because often there's avocado peels and tea leaves. So just because this looks black doesn't mean it is not food. If it wasn't food, there wouldn't be worms in it. So, but I will now replace the egg carton. And what I like about the egg carton in this bin, not only for the winter, but generally, if you have extra egg cartons, um, I've got this stacked and I can guarantee you there will be worms in between the stacking layers. They love it. Um, but what I like about egg cartons is see the air pockets that it introduces to the bin. So even though this bedding was very dense on the top, the stacking nature of those egg cartons makes for good air circulation. So these worms are getting a final pumpkin feeding of 2022 into this egg carton. I think I just missed. just put it in the egg carton. And, and why I want to feed in the egg carton is, well, not only do I want the worms to eat the egg carton, but you see there's a stacking egg carton here. So the moisture from this pumpkin will go into the egg carton uh, below and uh, it will inoculate it with microbes and the worms will even get into it more and it will protect this bin from a wild swing in pumpkin moisture that can happen. Egg cartons are extremely absorbent. And so that is a good idea. If you wanna feed something really moist like pumpkin, egg cartons are a great carbon idea. That's a little bit too much coffee. Egg cartons are a great carbon idea 
because of their absorbency. So there we go. There's a lot of worms in this level. I'm just uh, breaking up the coffee lumps and then I'm going to pull over the bedding and hopefully uh, what went, what came out of here should go back in here. This level will stay as the third level on my worm cafe because uh, it is the furthest away from being harvested. And, uh, but you can see the active with worms and they are going to love that pumpkin uh, when they find it. All right, everyone. Bye for now.